Hi, I'm Frank Dolan Jr. of All for Sports and Fitness and tonight I'd like to share with you some of the new things that you're going to see over the next few months for our seven year anniversary. We're really excited. My family and I have been planning this for, for months now. We've been very busy in preparation for this uh, and I think you're going to be really excited to see some of the changes that are going to be around here. Uh, the number one thing we're going to change is uh, our cardio area. You know, although people are very happy with the area, uh, I think an addition uh, of new equipment will really make people um, very happy. You know, we're going to add some uh, pre-core AMT trainers, which are similar to the elliptical and the arc trainer, but the difference is that it actually will adapt with your running or walking or stepping motion. So it can be used as a stepper, an elliptical, and also a little bit more as an arc trainer or a climber. Um, this is a very, very cool piece. It's probably the best cardio piece in the industry right now. Uh, it's the, what, by far the most expensive piece, but we felt that it was important to add four of these pieces because the feedback people are getting in other clubs and, and really, um, you know, not many clubs around here have it, so we wanted to add it for you guys and be really set us apart from most of the other places in the area. Uh, the second thing we're going to add, uh, we've been having a lot of people interested in spin our spin program um, and having some upgrades in that room but the Kaiser spin bikes are like no other bike in the industry um, they have a patent on the flywheel it's actually not run off of a, a chain it's run off of a magnet so there's no literally no braking system there's no friction it's all magnetized and that's how you change the resistance these spin bikes where normal spin bikes usually don't have any kind of electronics hooked up to these these do have um, a wattage reader. It shows you how much power you're exerting. It actually has heart rate monitors built right into the bike. Um, and there's a lot of other features on there that I'm, I can't even remember right, off, right now off the top of my head, but they're very, very cool bikes. The wheel is actually in the back instead of the front so you don't sweat on it. There's less wear and tear. That They say that's maintenance free. So we'll see about that, but I think it's a, definitely a very, very cool addition to the club. We're going to put six of those brand new bikes in the back and we're actually going to add two of them out here on the floor. We want to have two out on the floor so people can train with them, maybe see what the bikes are about so that they can then go ahead and, and hop into a spin class at some time. Uh, the other thing we're going to add are the Schwinn Airdyne bikes. These are classic pieces. Uh, typically, um, you'll see them with the big flywheel. We're actually getting the smaller flywheel, so they're a little bit quieter, but it's the same, same workout. It's a total body workout. has the legs and the arms at the same time, so that's going to be very, uh, a very cool addition to the, to the, uh, to the cardio area. Uh, on top of the pre-core AMT trainers, we're going to get four of those that are similar to ellipticals. We're also going to add six brand new ellipticals, uh, three with the arms and three without the arms. Uh, those are going to be uh, replacing some of the older ellipticals that we have in here that have, that have gone really well for seven years and we don't really have many problems with them besides flipping out some, some of the decks on them, but um, I think it's time to, to get the upgraded versions uh, of those. New bikes, we're going to switch out the Cybex, the white bikes that are in the back. Those bikes will, will be leaving and we're going to bring in some new pre-core bikes, recumbents, which is the, the one with the seat with the back, and also the upright bikes. We'll have three and three of those. Versa Climber was one of the original pieces that we put in the club, um, but it, we had some problem, maintenance problems with that one. It's been gone for probably a year now. Uh, we're going to be adding a brand new one, which uh, the maintenance on those are a little bit different. They're not as bad. Um, slide board, we're going to add another slide board in so it's a lateral trainer. That's something that's going to be kind of in our sports performance area, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, as you see behind me, we've added in, they've already went in today, the 42-inch um, plasma screen TVs. That was uh, definitely a nice change and created some excitement here today when that came in and those guys installed those. There's still one last TV that needs to be switched out that they forgot to bring, but that'll be switched out pretty soon. So we'll have seven of those flat screen t TVs up there with uh, all the programming with the cardio theater hookups on all the machines as well. Uh, one of the things in addition to adding the new spin bikes in the back classroom, uh, we've been meeting with the group exercise instructors and they're going to be designing and revamping the class schedule. Um, that's something that I've wanted to do for some time. It's kind of perfect now doing this whole club redesign that we're going to uh, revamp that program and have some really cool and interesting things for you guys in, in that department. Um, the other thing as far as moving out of the cardio area and going into more of the strength and the sports performance and group training area is we will be having some changes going on with that. We're probably going to be moving some of the selectorized machines over towards the, the carpet, the rubber area, 
and bringing over the sports performance and the group training type equipment to be in its own dedicated area. I'm seeing a tremendous shift all of a sudden, uh, although we've been doing a lot of the functional training for years now, there is definitely a shift in the way people are working out and people want more free space. We actually ran a survey a few months ago about that and that was probably one of the number one things that people wanted. Not to say, we're not taking anything out, we're not taking any equipment out, we are just going to reconfigure things so that there is a little bit more open space for stretching, for things like lunges. We're going to add smaller dumbbells for people to work on, add more benches, to, for people to do more free weight based things, although it doesn't have to be in the free weight area. Um, it's, could, it's going to be right here, right behind the camera here, in the, where the Magnum stuff is. That's going to be a little bit of a different area. I want to put a, a TV up over there with some streaming video of exercises, whether it be some of our stuff in the boot camps, or maybe even just some videos by Juan Carlos Santana, not the guitarist, but the fitness expert. Um, guys like Gray Cook and Mark Verstegen. These are some of the gurus that I follow, and I follow their tra go with their training advice and bring it into the boot camps, I want that to be available for you guys to watch above the mirrors. Uh, on top of all this, these changes in equipment and changes in you know, the, the, the uh, TVs and, and programming, we are going to also be doing some aesthetic changes. Um, everywhere you see purple in the club will no longer be purple. <laughs> Not to say that we don't like purple anymore, but I think uh, it's going to give us a little bit of a brand new fresh look. We're going to bring in some more earth tones, some dark oranges and browns and, and some more yellows. Uh, obviously my dad and I are not choosing these colors. These are things that we have a designer coming in to, to revamp the club. The whole front desk area is going to change. Uh, you'll see a brand new facade on the front desk. The front office area will be all completely changed. The, the purple floor, the tile floor that runs all the way down to the back of the facility that will, will all change. That's going to be a completely new, new floor going back. The front area where we have the, uh, the lobby, that floor becomes a new tile floor. Um, trying to think of what else. Back Studio 2, that floor gets resurfaced. Um, we're going to have some, some big banners up on the walls to cover some of that open wall space that some people have already said, hey, why don't you guys put some, some stuff up there, some ads or something. We're not going to put ads up there. We're going to put up some nice like active lifestyle pictures with the logo, you know, some, some stuff for, uh, for our ego. No, <laughs> no, I think it'll look nice. Uh, things that are going to leave the pro spot in the free weight area doesn't get a lot of use. That's going to be coming out uh, to open up some more room in the free weight area. Like I said, some of the sports performance and lifting racks are going to be over here. We're adding a um, deadlifting platform so that when someone is deadlifting, they don't take up both the squat rack and the deadlift area. Uh, so we will have two lifting platforms. Um, that's for the guys that like to lift a little bit of heavy weight. Um, Back Studio 3 is going to get a revamp. We're going to redo all the padding on the walls. Uh, that's going to get cleaned up and more organized with the closet. So all of the fitness boot campers, you guys are going to see a change in the back there and anybody doing some of the sports performance and baseball lessons in that. Um, group exercise room besides the floor getting redone and the new spin bikes we're also going to add in uh, some new racks to keep things off the floor where the racks now are on the floor. Get, up, get stuff off the floor to open up a little bit more space for those new classes that the group exercise instructors are um, designing for us. Uh, for right now, I think I'm going to sign off, but hopefully you guys are excited from this video. And uh, I know we are. We're really looking forward to making changes around here. I think, um, you know, there's a lot of different options for you guys out there in, you know, joining a facility. And, you know, a lot of low-cost players are moving in. Um, that's something that we're well aware of. Um, there's two ways to go in the industry, I think, and that one way would be to go ahead and, and be very, very cheap and pack the place and have, you know, people crawling all over each other and not really being able to get on equipment. But I really don't think that's a good solution. You know, I think the fitness industry really has to wake up and, and make changes towards having higher quality clubs, keeping the prices, you know, relatively low, but also being able to, to provide a high value. And, and people, I think, will see that. And you guys, obviously, you're members and, or you have been a member. You've seen the value in coming to a place where you're going to be able to get results. You're going to be able to get on equipment, have quality programming. That's one of the things we want to make sure we're, we're making people aware of is that we do have these, these uh, different programs like the fitness boot camp, like IE personal training. You know, utilize some of those services because 
every single day they're getting better, we're getting better at getting people results, and I really hope you take advantage of, of those services. Uh, looking forward to seeing you in the gym, and uh, please send me any feedback, write me an email, please, anything that you're concerned about with the changes or anything you're excited about. This way I have an idea of wh where we need to go. The best thing I could do is get feedback from you guys because that's what's going to help drive this place and, and, and keep you guys happy and make sure we're, we're focused on the things to get you results. And we'll see you in the gym.